come in. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, mademoiselle, for intruding into your grief. Grief? That's a good one. Why should I be sorry for Arlena? You hated her so much? I'm glad she's dead, if that's what you mean. She was horrid to me and beastly to my daddy. Yes. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions about this morning? Why should I? I was with Christine Redfern. She wanted to go to Gull Cove to draw some stupid cliffs. And did she? Oh, yes. She sat under her big hat while I sunbathed. Mm. She gets all blistered if she sits out in the sun. Yes. It's bad luck, really. Oh. Here it is. Oh. She gave it to me. It's not bad, really. No, she has talent, that one. These are undeniably uh, cliffs. When did she leave you? Five to twelve. How can you be so sure? Because she asked me. What time is it, dear? Five to twelve. Lord, I must fly. I'm playing tennis at 12.30. She got into a fearful panic about being late for tennis and rushed off back to the hotel. Would you like this? Thanks. It's super. I'll see you later after my swim. I remember I was halfway down the beach when Christine called after me. Don't forget your bathing cap. I'd forgotten my bathing cap, so I had to come back and put it on. What a bore. Now, did you see anyone else while you were swimming? No, no one. Apart, that is, from Christine waving from the top of the cliff. Look, why don't you stop asking me all these silly questions about Christine? She couldn't have murdered Arlena. Neither could I. That slimy Rex Booster's the one you should be talking to. He hated Arlena. He's the one who really wanted her dead. How can you say that? He admired her so much. Don't be daft. He'd written this filthy book about her, which she wouldn't allow him to publish. Uh, excuse me, mademoiselle, but how do you know all this? Because I heard them having a row about it on the beach yesterday. Oh. They thought I'd gone away, but I hadn't. Maybe he won't be able to publish it if he's hanged for murder first. If I can't see your face is shining in every knife, fork and spoon, I'll have your guts for garters, understood? Oh, madame. Have you any idea where I can find Monsieur Brewster? Rex. Well, I thought I saw him go out into the garden. Did he? Oh, but he's not the one you want. You should cherche la femme. Really, madame? Absolutely. You see, I've been having a little think, and I worked it all out. Look, if Horace Blatt is in the clear, and Kenneth Marshall is in the clear, and I'm, I'm in the clear, and Patrick Redfern is in the clear, and Myra Gardner is in the clear because she was with him, then it's all down to little Miss Cringe, uh -huh. isn't it? Miss Cringe? Yes. The jealous wife, Christine Redfern. Yes. You don't want to believe all that stuff about her being too weedy. Women fight like tigers when they're losing their husbands. Not that I've had much experience of that sort of thing myself. But what is your theory? I mean, how did Madame Christine do it? Well, I don't know. She probably battered Arlena over the head with a bit of driftwood and then finished her off with a little pressure on the carot carotid artery. The artery, the carotid, yes, the carotid yes. artery, yes. yes. Well, everyone knows that. It's in all the crime novels. And, you know, in fact, only the other day, a child of 11 did something like that in Hungary. Or was it Crete? I don't know. Well, anyway, she used a pair of nutcrackers. Oh, actually, perhaps I'd better go and see if any are missing. No, my dear, unfortunately, you see, there are no nutcracker marks on the fault. And then Madame Christine could not possibly have done it. Her alibi has been confirmed by Mademoiselle Linda and uh, Vice Versa. How very irritating. <laughs>